In this video, I'll show you how you can easily create these impressive PowerPoint slides step by step. First, I'll show you how you can design these awesome looking slides, and later on in the video, we'll add animations. So, let's go! Hello, my friends, it's one skill helping you become an unstoppable PowerPoint creator. And now let's just find a fresh blank new slide where we can start creating everything from scratch. Okay, my friends, and first of all, let's fill this empty slide with a beautiful picture. So over here, I have downloaded a couple of photos from unsplash.com. Link is in the video description. And now let's just select this photo. Let's hit Ctrl C to copy it. And now let's get back to our empty slide. And now let's just right click on it. Let's go to Format Background. Okay, let's go to Fill Options. And let's choose Picture. And let's just click on Clipboard. And this way we have pasted that photo as the slide background. As you can see right now, we cannot select this photo because this photo has been pasted as the slide background and this is what we want. Ok, next let's insert a semi-transparent dark rectangle and for that we can jump into the Insert tab. Let's go to Shapes, let's find the Rectangle tool. And now let's just insert a simple rectangle, we can align it to the top left corner of the slide. Now let's just grab this bubble at the bottom right corner and drag the rectangle until it covers the whole slide. Now let's fill this rectangle with a black color and let's add a transparency of 20% and this way we can see through this dark rectangle and see the background picture. And now my friends, the magical part. We can insert any shape on the slide that we wish. For example, a beautiful circle. And now we can jump into the fill options and choose slide background fill. And skadoosh, as you can see now, this circle is taking that bright photo as its fill. And this way we can create amazing slide designs. So we'll be using this slide background fill feature. But as you have noticed in the intro of this video, we should be using these beautiful rounded hexagons. But there is a small problem. Rounded rectangles do not exist in PowerPoint by default. The closest thing that we have is this hexagon which has sharp edges or sharp corners. And in this case, we'd like to have a rounded hexagon. So let me show you how we can create this rounded hexagon and for that we'll be using an external free online tool which is called Figma. So let's jump into Figma. And usually Figma is used to design websites and apps but in this case we'll jump into figma.com and create a simple rounded hexagon. So you can just click on this button to get started for free. You can log in with your Gmail account and once you log in you'll see something that looks like this, okay? So now let's just click on this blue button design file, let's choose drafts or any other folder that you wish and skadoosh, we are inside of Figma. And now let's just go to this rectangle tool, let's expand the menu and now let's just select the polygon tool that looks like a triangle, ok. We can hold down the shift key and draw a perfect triangle just like that. But since we need hexagon, we can go into this field and we can input a new corner value, so let's just type in 6 and skadoosh we get a hexagon. And over here we can specify the roundness of the corners. So let's just try 50. And this way my friends we have easily and quickly created a rounded hexagon. So now let's just make sure we select it. Let's go to export. Let's choose SVG and now let's just export it. And now we can jump back to PowerPoint and we can import this SVG and use it in our slide design. Okay. And now let's just scroll down to our slide. Here it is. And now let's insert that rounded hexagon. So let's go to insert pictures this device. Let's find our beautiful hexagon SVG. Here it is. Let's insert it. And skadoosh, we have a beautiful rounded hexagon. But it is not yet fully editable. As you can see, a couple of fill options are grayed out. And for that reason, let's make sure that we click on this button, convert to shape. And now this rounded hexagon is fully editable. We can use all of the fill options, such as the slide background fill. That's super duper awesome. Ok my friends, and for now let's just leave the fill at solid color, ok. And now let's just make this hexagon a bit smaller. And before we do anything, let's just lock the aspect ratio, so that once we change the height, the width will change accordingly as well. So for the height I'm using 7 cm, ok. And now the hexagon is a bit smaller. And now let's just move this guy to the middle of the slide, that's beautiful. And now we can hold down the control and shift keys and make some copies, ok. You can decide how wide you would like this gap to be between the hexagons. I'm going with a pretty narrow gap. Ok, so we have three hexagons in total. Let's make some space for one more hexagon. So once again, let's keep on holding Control shift keys to drag a copy in a straight line. That's beautiful. And now let's just select all of these guys and let's just drag them to the right side so that a half of this rightmost uh, hexagon sticks out just a little bit. And of course, this is a creative choice. You can create any pattern that you like. 
And now let's just group all of these four hexagons into a single group. This way it will be much easier to work with them. That's beautiful. And now we can hold down the control key and make a copy of this whole group. And this way we have quickly created four more hexagons. Let's just make sure that we align everything precisely. So let's make sure that those gaps are looking beautiful between all of the hexagons. Okay, looking good. And now once we're happy how everything is aligned, once again we can hold down the control shift keys and drag a copy downwards just like that. And once again let's just make sure that all of those gaps between the hexagons are looking consistent. That's nice. And next my friends let's insert a few more hexagons here at the top and at the bottom of the slide. Okay my friends and so now we have 5 beautiful groups of hexagons and now I think we can select all of these guys. Let's ungroup them so that we can select the individual uh, hexagons. And I think we can delete those hexagons which are outside of the slide window. So let's delete this guy, this one and this one. And I think the rest of the hexagons are touching the slide window. So that's good. Let's select them all. And for the fill, let's choose slide background fill and skadoosh. Now all of these guys are using the slide background picture that we have pasted in the beginning of this tutorial. And since we'll be adding animations, I'll group these middle hexagons into a single group. I'll do the same for these guys. So just hold down the shift key, select any hexagons that you wish and hit Ctrl G to group. So one group over here and let's select these guys at the top. Let's group them into a single group as well. And let's do the same for these guys at the bottom. So once again, we have five groups of hexagons and this way it will be much easier to animate them. Okay. So my friends, now let's just zoom out a little bit so that we can select all of these uh, hexagons, all of these groups of hexagons. Okay. So let's make sure that we open up the animation pane so that we can see what's going on in the animation world. Okay. Let's select all of those hexagon groups and now let's just select any animation that we wish. For example, flying animation. Okay. As you can see, all of the five animations have been added for the direction right now. Let's just choose from top. Let's make sure all of the animations start with previous duration two seconds. And now while all of the animations are still selected, let's jump into the animation options. And we can select anything that we wish. Let's just choose maximum smooth end. Okay, so that we have a soft landing for all of these flight animations. And let's just check it out what we have so far. And as you can see right now, all of these hexagon groups are flying in from the top. So I think we can change that for these two bottom rows. So let's make sure that we select this group of hexagon and this one. Okay. So let's just like this one first. And for the direction, let's choose from bottom. Okay. And let's do the same for this most bottom row of hexagons. Let's make sure that the flying direction is from bottom as well. And let's check it out once again. Okay. Looking much better. And as you can see, once all of those hexagons are flying in, they're overlapping on top of each other. So let's just make sure that this middle row of hexagons stays at the front. Okay. And now we can select this uh, top row and this bottom row. And let's just send these groups to back. Okay. And let's just make sure that we send this semi-transparent rectangle to back as well. So that we can see those uh, top and bottom hexagons. Okay. And this way, I think all of these hexagons will be overlapping in a much nicer way. So let's check it out once again. And as you can see, that middle row of hexagons stays in the front. That's beautiful. And next, my friends, let's make our slide design complete by adding a couple of text boxes. So let me copy the logo, the text boxes and the slide number from my previous slide. Let's just hit Ctrl C and let's just paste these guys into our slide. That's beautiful. And now let's just add an animation to these text boxes, which are grouped into a single group. So that's convenient. And let's just add a flying animation to this group of text boxes as well. Direction from left. Let's make sure it starts automatically with previous with the rest of the animations animation duration two seconds and this time let's use the bounce slider let's use one and a half seconds for the bounce effect and this is what we get that's beautiful so those hexagons are flying in softly and the text boxes are bouncing in super duper awesome easy peasy lemon squeezy and now what's super awesome about the slide design is that we can quickly and easily change how it looks like we can select this photo, we can hit Ctrl C to copy the photo. Let's get back to our slide. Let's jump into the slide background fill options. Okay. So let's make sure that the picture is selected and let's just click on clipboard and skadoosh. This way we have pasted the new photo as the slide background fill. And now this slide has a completely new look. That's nice. And now just for fun, let's try using this photo as well. It's looking beautiful. Let's make sure that we copy the photo. Let's get back to our slide. Let's go to fill options and let's click on clipboard 
and Skadoosh, once again our slide has a completely new look, looking beautiful. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can create these beautiful animated hexagon slides. But you know sometimes you just don't have enough of time to create those beautiful slides. And in those situations I would recommend using high quality PowerPoint templates. Check out this video and learn how you can pick the best PowerPoint template for your next project. I'll see you there.